Okay, here's a situation I found myself in. My little blackout mini quad has blown an ESC. It was, it actually did a few unexpected flips <laughs> on a couple of flights, and then it came right, and then it did a couple more flips, and I thought, hmm. So I replaced the rear two ESCs here, because I, I, when I landed one time, I noticed one motor was a bit, uh, seemed to have a bit less torque than the rest. So I thought, oh, maybe it's that one, so I replaced it. But then on the next flight, bing, it uh, flipped again, and the magic smoke came out. As you can see on this ESC, there's uh, one of the FETs has died. Now, one of the problems you encounter if you blow a FET like that, if it, um, the magic smoke comes out, then it's quite possible that large amounts of current have gone through the motor. So how do you know if the motor's okay? You could put another ESC on there, but if the motor has gone short, then it's just gonna blow up the next ESC you throw on. You don't want to waste a perfectly good ESC just making sure the motor isn't um, ruined by the, by the short circuit that's happened there. So there's one thing you can do. There's a very useful tool, really cheap, that you can use. And I've actually found this to be worthwhile in a many, many applications. It's really worth having one of these. Move that away. Here we go. One of those. And what's that? Well, that's an L LC meter. And an LC meter is something that measures capacitance and also it measures inductance. And inductance is basically the the quality that a coil has, and that means it's, it resists changes in the flow of electricity. I've done videos on this before and other, otherwise, but um, basically this LC meter, I'm going to use it to measure the inductance of the windings on the motor, because if the windings are short-circuited, even one turn, that will show up in the readings we get on this meter. Now, of course, you could say, why don't we just use a multimeter like this? Well, the problem with multimeters is that the, the actual resistance of these motors is really, really small, and even a good multimeter isn't really going to be able to measure them very accurately. You need what's called a four wire meter to get a really accurate measurement of the resistance that's that low. And most people don't have those. And they're also very expensive, but these are cheap as beans on eBay and places like Good Luck Buy or whatever. Chinese outlets, you don't get these for like 30 bucks or something. So they're really worth having. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect my motor from the ESC, the blown up ESC, and I'm going to measure the, the um, inductance of the motor and make sure that there isn't a shorted turn or two in there caused by the excess current that flowed when the ESC smoked before I had a chance to pull the battery lead off. To demonstrate what I mean, I'm going to use the multimeter here to try and measure the resistance of the wires on this motor. Now you'll see that, um, let's go from that one to that one. You see that it says zero ohms because the, it goes up to 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So there's probably just surface resistance on the probes. I measure the other side and we get Again, zero ohms, although yeah, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So yeah, it's about the same um, between the two sides of that. So you think, mm, you know, it looks okay using a multimeter, but uh, the reality is multimeter is only measuring DC. It won't detect just one or two shorted turns that will really, really affect the performance of the motor and probably damage your ESC. So I'm gonna use the, the inductance meter now and just show you how much difference there is. We'll see if this motor is any good. One thing to notice, you notice I've actually taken the bell of the motor off because the magnets will actually affect the inductance readings that we get because they'll tend to saturate the coils. So taking the, I did that, with, I did that also with the DC measurement as you saw, it didn't have the bell on. So let's just hook up the um, inductance meter to one set of windings and see what we get. That's telling us we've got 4.63 microhenries, which is a measurement of inductance. Okay, let's measure the other side. It should be the same. It should be the same or within spitting distance. So let's just see what we get there. Well, no, whoops, try and get it lined up, come on. No, actually it's 5.8, which is a huge difference, huge difference, which means we do have some shorter turns on this motor. And I'll measure the across the other phase. Oh, it's a bit of a dodgy connection. Now that's the two windings in series effectively, and we get 9.25, but each individual phase there, they vary by quite a large amount. I've got a flaky power supply on the bench here. The plug's coming out of the wall, so as I said, um, oops, wires falling off. I'm stretching everything to make it work here. So we've got 5.8 versus on the other side. Four point six, four point four six. So yep. So that motor has suffered some shorted turns in the windings. In fact, we'll take a close look at it. You can actually see that it doesn't look that healthy. Now, as you can see, there are some kind of funny-looking deposits around here. You can see this sort of got some horrible colours. Something's foamed up here. That's probably because this coil has got too hot, and in getting too hot, 
some of the windings inside, the, the insulation is actually burnt and they've shorted together because the copper wire is laid over the top of each what layers over the top of the previous layer. Then when it gets too hot, the insulation can melt and the copper turns can touch, adjacent turns can touch, and that really shows up on the inductance meter, but it didn't show up on the ohm meter because the resistance of all this is actually so low. So it looks like when that ESC blew, it took out the motor because I couldn't get the battery unplugged quickly enough because it failed in midair. So there you go, that's one of the one of the problems you have sometimes and I think these are about a $45 motor so I'm a bit pissed off, <laughs> never mind. That's the things that happen when you fly RC models and uh, I hope this has been useful. Now as I say these little LC meters they're available, we'll just zoom out a bit for you so you can see it. These things are available online, I'll try and include a link um, in the description to somewhere where you may be able to pick them up. You can get them in cases or you can just get them as a bare board like this and they're really really easy to use and they can actually be useful in a number of situations so there you go. I hope this video has been useful. I hope now that you may save yourself from blowing up ESCs by not realizing that your motor's buggered as well. Any questions put them on the bottom of the video. Any comments do the same I'll do my best to address them and I'll see you again soon from the bench on RC Model Reviews.